Hey, 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 what's going on out there, everybody in the world, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, males and females. Welcome to another video with your boy, Prophet Peeps, stocking with Prophet Peeps. We got another good one today for y'all. A lot of people keep asking me that's new in the business when it comes to being an investor in the stock market on what are option costs. But before we move forward, bump and grind against that like button subscribe share the video and let the notifications accelerate all right so i want to make this pretty brief okay and and let it be very simple for y'all to understand and be able to jump in and make some great income okay now you have stocks you have options you have etf etf index and you have cryptocurrencies all right now when it comes to option plays this is something different because you have the right but not the obligations to buy the stock so to the point where as though when you do jump in you have an expiration date on options so we have calls and we have puts now calls go up and puts go down all right now with these calls and puts you have a strike price the strike price can be anywhere near the actual stock amount so for instance if the stock amount is fifty dollars okay now you might have a strike price for 40 or 50 or 60 for example you pick one of those strike prices those strike prices have a premium okay so for instance let's just say we did a call right now a call goes up so you you betting on a price that's gonna go past fifty dollars so for instance now we're talking uh, let's say for instance we had a strike price for 47 let's just say that for example a strike price will be forty seven dollars now we will have which is called a premium for that forty seven dollars it will be a premium that premium could be anywhere around depending on how close it is to the break even. So let me just rewind it back. Now we had the strike price, $47, right? Now the break even may be, the break even may be 48.90 or something like that. It could be 48.90. And once you get past the 48.90 or it could be 51, 51. Now the, the lower it is close to the amount of the share, the more it is okay so for instance let's say if it was for 52 you put you got a break even i'm gonna show you this in a minute i'm gonna show you this but i'm trying to explain to you let's say you got a break even for the amount of the of of, of 51 you got to get to that 51 dollars as a break even to start making money anything past that shoots to the moon all right now those premium those premiums that's close to the amount of the break even, which is like a 0%, those premiums can be higher. It could be $300, it could be $400, maybe even higher, depending on how low the stock is. So remember, calls go up, puts go down. If I'm confusing you, I'm gonna make it better from what I'm about to show you so you can have a better understanding. It's very important that you guys learn this information because where we come from, most people is not taught this ever in life okay so we behind as a people we are behind and we have many successful people that has been doing this for many years okay so i couldn't believe it with my own eyes previously i actually just jumped into a play for a, it was a 30 dollar call the break even it was it was a plug power i paid 395 to jump in those who know me know about this because I advertised it. I paid $3.95 to jump in. It went up and I was afraid because it came down on the next day. Then it went up again to over $160 in profit. I got afraid and snatched that. The call was at 30, it was a 30, it was at $35 around the time. Now, plug power. My expiration date was January the 15th. Now, before the, today, the 15th is Friday coming up. Guess where the stock is at now? The stock is at 
69 to $70 right now, which means I would have made over $34 to $3,500 within the past week. I jumped out and only made $160 profit from the $395 I put in. And it a averaged up to about five, five something. So I lost, I left a lot of money on the table, y'all. But it's all right, it's all good. You know why? Because it made me feel good that to know that I have the knowledge to make this type of money. So I want y'all to understand that it's a lot of money in this business. Yes, you can lose money, but the risk is way worth the reward. Well, the reward is way worth the risk. It is. All right. So let me just show y'all and I'm going to get back to y'all and y'all will have a better understanding on how the stock market work when it comes to option plays. Okay, here's my portfolio. So we're just going to use NEO, for example. We're going to use NEO, for example, right? So when it comes to option plays, now let's say, for example, you wanted to do a trade. You wanted to do an option play. You already own stocks like me, for instance, I own 10 shares of NEO. Okay, so I made some great profit. for market value of 653.52 is how much I made. I jumped in at $26. Okay, so this is at actually I jumped in with I jumped in with 17 I think it was 17 or 16 but I've I've uh, it went down and I've added to my portfolio so I brought more shares so that was the last one $26 and 31 cents so uh, it's 62 now so I made my profit all right now let's say if I want to trade and do an option play what you're gonna do you're gonna go to options you think it's gonna go up you'll go up you think it's gonna go down go down this is something just you know a little different i think it's going to go up and down and straddles and strangles i have videos on this as well i think it's going to stay the same all yeah, right this is the iron condor and the iron butterfly okay so okay now let's say for example you think it's going to go up what you'll do is the more you put it out as far as the dates the more it costs so let's just say for example you want to put it three weeks out and you got a january the 29th what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have money in your buying power. All right. So you'll have money in your buying power. This is what you'll be saving for and put money in your account for. Remember, this don't ever take in most cases, it rarely take your whole amount that you invest in. You could lose approximately, I'll say 50 to 60, maybe $90 at the most. It can go further, but in most cases, it really don't. But let's just say, for example, all right, $62 and 24 cents is the share price. Now, check out the break evens on here these calls 60 you got 59 59 58 now check out these break evens for instance at 58 you got 65 dollars and 10 cents now you got to hit 65 dollars from that 62 dollar and 24 cent share price in order to start making money that premium is 660 dollars that's six dollars and 60 cents a share you got to buy a hundred of them okay and when you buy a hundred of them that makes it 600 sixty dollars to to do that play to january the 29th so anything past 65 10 you start making money okay so for instance let's just say i want to go close to the 62 as you go down you see the break evens y'all pay attention to the break evens it's getting lower and getting lower now we at 62 the share price 62 24 remember now we at 62 let's say for instance 6258 or let me just go straight down let's just say 62 you want to do 6228 to do this $39.5 call closer to the break even price which is $62.28 so from 6224 it got to get to 6228 for you to start making some money okay that will cost $2278 to do that play to January the 29th. In most cases, bands that was close to the share price, the break even is close to the share price, you're you're liable to make way much more money. Because from that time it can go to $70. You know, if it go to $70 from the 62, you want the money. You done made fortunes. Okay, approximately close to you know seven, eight hundred dollars around that time, or seven hundred dollars or so. So you'll make some bread from this time to that time and it's worth the 2278 in most cases it don't take up the whole 2278 
you know i'm I, i'm not going to promise y'all it won't take up 22 but i have is is a, is a high percentage that it don't take the full amount okay because it goes up and down so in most cases you're liable to you know lose uh, a portion of your investment okay so that's how that work all right and when you start making money you can always sell it okay so you can always sell you come out let's say you're already in you'll press trade then you'll sell it you'll press sell and then you press the numbers so if it's a hundred and you you know you sell sell a hundred or, or it won't actually that's with regular stocks you'll just press one contract hit review and boom and they go up and that's how you make your money it's like that all right so I'm you know I want y'all to understand that this is the way it works when it comes to stocks you can make a lot of money and we need y'all to jump in and make it happen to build your wealth in the future all right everybody so now that y'all have a much better understanding on the way option plays work okay feel free to rewind the video and go back play it again to see what i was talking about if you don't understand i'll be making more videos like this thank you guys for watching it's very important to understand the process of the stock market and remember don't invest nothing that you know if you lose it's going to jeopardize you losing your your home or having your lights cut off or no food on your table taken away from your children you know don't invest anything that you need okay invest your leftover cash cash that you know if you will lose it wouldn't be a problem all right but in most cases we look at winning and remember winners respect winners actually winners roll with winners leaders roll with leaders and good followers always follow good leaders to become a good leader y'all be safe out there okay i'll make more videos like this y'all make sure y'all subscribe like the channel share the videos have a great week peace and love your boy